Hey everyone, it's Byron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. Going to get right into a video clip from Joseph Prince. It's going to take him four and a half seconds to plant the first mistruth. Listen to this. First Thessalonians 4, but I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren. Paul is writing this. All right, this is not second coming. Listen, this is not second coming. Listen, this is not second coming. Listen. I played those words back three times to get you to hear. This is not the second coming. Listen. He's stating that in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, it's a rapture. And that's how his whole video goes. It's, it's the rapture which precedes the second coming of Christ. We're not looking forward for the Antichrist. We're not looking for the false beast. We're not looking for the United States of Europe, all right, the revived Roman Empire. We're not looking for that. We are looking for Jesus. Amen. We're not looking for death even. We're looking for Jesus. Anytime it can happen. It can happen today. The rapture is imminent. Once the rapture happens, you can count when he will come back for Israel because it's seven years exactly. What he's saying is, and it makes a lot of sense, we're not looking for anything except Jesus. The problem that you run into is that he start, you know, Paul's writing to the people in uh, Thessalonica. That's 1 Thessalonians that he's reading from. When you get to 2 Thessalonians, Paul backs up and says, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, I don't know how you got confused here. But it tells you there's going to be a falling away before Christ's return and the man of sin, the son of perdition, or the Antichrist will be here on the earth before Christ's return. So all the, we're, going, we're looking for Jesus to come any minute, it's imminent, conflicts with the very scripture Paul wrote to the people of Thessalonians and Joseph Prince is reading from Thessalonians. And folks, right there in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, at verse 15, we read this. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent those which are asleep. So he's saying alive and remain until the coming of the Lord. Uh, Paul is saying singular, coming, not comings. You know, like there's going to be a coming in the clouds and there's going to be a rapture and then there's going to be a coming of the Lord. That's not what he's saying. Paul is saying there's one coming, the coming of the Lord. And Joseph Prince, right there in the middle of reading, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, inserted this statement. All right, this is not second coming, listen. You know, if Christ came the first time and was born of a virgin, that was his first coming, why not just say the next coming is the second coming? Why say there's three comings when there's not? I pulled the verses that Paul wrote about the coming of the Lord in the New Testament. And here, here they are. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1, 7, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, waiting for the coming. It's singular. There's one coming that Paul's talking about. Paul is not confused about what he's talking about. These people who are teaching uh, ear tickling gospel, they're the ones that are confused and they're the ones that's going to pay the price. And those people that believe them or tolerate them are going to pay the price. Here's another verse. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. Again, it's singular. At his coming, not at the rapture, but at Christ's coming. When he says this is not the second coming, he's just bold-faced telling you a lie. That's all he's doing. For what is our hope, our joy, our crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of the Lord Christ at his coming? Yeah, there's going to be a resurrection, a gathering together. You can call it the rapture, but don't say the rapture comes before the coming of the Lord. It comes at the coming of the Lord. First Thessalonians 3, 13, just prior to the chapter that he was reading from. To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all his saints, coming, singular. 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole, whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how many times Paul says coming? He's not representing it as a rapture. And then a coming. He's represented as a coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together unto him. 
the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, this is not the second coming. It is the second coming. That's exactly what Paul wrote. Paul was not confused. Paul was a chosen vessel by Jesus Christ to carry this message. And Paul says the coming of the Lord, he's not saying there's a rapture before the coming, but I'm just going to say the coming of the Lord. That's not what Paul's saying. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. I know this is because of popular doctrine, popular false doctrine. It's very dis difficult to comprehend that the saints <clears throat> could be resurrected and those that are alive and remain could be caught up together to be with the Lord while the Antichrist is being destroyed. But it's going to happen that way. There is one coming, singular. You know, I, I guarantee you the Lord's not going to let me stop saying this. I just want you people to know, and those of you that listen to Joseph Prince, maybe you catch this video or something like that. You have to realize that unless you open your Bible and read it for yourself, you're not going to get the truth from Joseph Prince. He's going to talk to you. In all fairness, let me just tell you a little bit more about what he said in the video. He argued that there, there some people said there's not going to be a rapture. Well, we know that's crazy. Then he argued and said that some people are not going to be caught up in the rapture. Let some people say people won't get caught up in the rapture. You know, that's a whole nother argument. What we need to talk about is where he said right in the beginning, this is not the second coming. That's what we need to be talking about, Mr. Joseph Prince. You need to be talking about how can you, as if you're prophesying above the word of God, extra or outside the word of God, and telling people this is not the second coming when the Apostle Paul is saying this is the coming and it's the second time that Jesus Christ is coming. So it is the second coming. You have to believe it like that. I'll let you go.